Today, we're gonna be trying every single Trader Joe's fall item. Yes, you guys, it is true. I got every single fall item at Trader Joe's except for the ones that I already knew I wasn't gonna like. And today we're gonna be trying them all live and we're gonna be putting them on a tier list as well. Here is a little sneak peek of some of the items we're gonna be trying today. We're gonna be ranking them from S to D. Okay. So before we get started with trying everything, we're gonna fill out our custom labels. And of course I need help from my wonderful chat here on twitch.tv slash Jen McAllister. So what should we call the S tier you guys? This is the best of the best items from the Trader Joe's fall holiday item selection. What should we call it? Gobbling it up, gobble gobble like a turkey. Ooh, wait, that's kind of good. Gobble, 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 gobble for sure. We've got to keep it uh, seasonal. Wh what does the turkey say, you guys? Gobble, gobble. Mama, that's Thanksgiving, but pop off. Yeah, but okay, do not do you guys think the fall items like encompass like October and November? Because not all these things are just like pumpkin spice. Like some of these fall items are like, like, look, you can see here, spoiler alert, but we got apple cider. You know what I'm saying? A tier, you guys. This is for the items that are really, really good, okay? But they're not quite something I'm gonna be gobbling down day and night, day and night. <gasps> Aut yum. That's pretty good. And it starts with an A as well, so already halfway there. B tier, this is the mid tier. It's mid. There's not much more I can say besides that's mid. Mid giving. Oh my God, mid giving. When it's literally giving mid and it's an item that you would eat in the same season as Thanksgiving, mid giving, mid giving. C tier, this, we don't like it. We don't like it. But if we're desperate enough, we might eat it, okay? Leaf it on the shelf, that is so good. Leaf it on the shelf. That is really good. I almost think we might wanna do leaf it on the shelf for D tier, like we're not even gonna be purchasing that because D tier is the worst of the worst. You know what I'm saying? Worst of the worst, leaf it on the shelf. Don't even pick it up. So let's do that for this one. Leaf it on the shelf, but C tier. I kind of like boo ring or just boo. What if we just say boo? Like just boo, like this shit sucks. Like boo, boo, ooh, ooh. Boo. Boo! We have a lot of things to try, so I'm just gonna reach in and try the first thing that I pull out. Ooh. Now look how cute these are, you guys. These are chocolate mousse pumpkins. It says velvety chocolate cakes layered with silky mousse. Honestly, this sounds so good. I think I'm gonna like this. cute this is. Can you see it? Oh, look at that. It's, it feels soft, okay? First touch is feeling soft. Let's try it. Hmm. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, this, this was amazing. Wait, this was so good. The bottom of it, I think is like chocolate cake and then the top is like chocolate mousse and then it's inside this like chocolate shell that's very like soft. This is amazing. I might be a little biased though because I have to say you guys, chocolate mousse is like one of my favorite desserts, but this is so good. I'm gonna have another bite. Mmm. 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 Oh no, you guys, I hate to have a gobble gobble already, but these will not be lasting long in my household. I am gonna be gobbling these up day and night for the next couple of days. Probably when I say the next couple of days, I mean today. This is like the best thing I've ever had at Trader Joe's ever. What the hell? This is so good. <laughs> I love it. I don't wanna like eat the whole thing because we're trying so many foods today, but I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Wait. 
this picture looks like the same, like, I don't know. To me, it just looks like it's the same exact container that I have in my hand in the picture. I don't know. Harvest chocolate collection. Something about this is a little goofy to me, but when I saw it on the shelves, I was like, we gotta try it. Basically, I think these are just little chocolates, but as you can see, they're all shaped as different fall items. They're giving candle to me, or like wax melt. I don't know, like these just make me laugh a little. What is it about these? These are like silly. Look at this. It's a corn. I'm like inclined to eat the corn. There's a pine cone in here, a pumpkin. This one's cute. I feel like these, these are like action figures. Feeling like plastic. It seriously feels like plastic. I've got my warm hands all over this corn and it's not even melting at all. It's supposed to be chocolate. I don't know, I feel like I, feel like I could crack a tooth here, okay? I'm gonna go in from the side. Like I'm eating a corn like with the side of my mouth, like. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> mm. 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 It says white milk and dark chocolate. I think the corn was white chocolate. I like white chocolate, but I, let me try the pine cone. Let me give it a fair shot with the pine cone. Mm. Mm hmm. Eh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, okay. I think that was milk chocolate, but I actually am not sure. Listen, you guys, I mean, they're just kind of like mid chocolates, but it is kind of fun that they're shaped like fall items. I'll give them that. To me, they're giving mid, they're mid giving. I don't like, I would honestly even maybe put them in boo, but I do think it's kind of like a fun novelty that they're shaped as different items. So I'm gonna do mid giving, okay? What if the creator is watching this, you guys? It just seems like they put a lot of effort into it, okay? I don't wanna hurt their feelings. So it's mid giving. Oh, whoa, wait, hold on. I don't wanna start any controversy, but the picture kind of looks exactly how this looked before I took it out of the box. I don't know. I'm feeling something like, like long and like, like still like round and long. Pumpkin spice batons, you guys. Anybody here a band geek? Waving your batons left and right. They're those little like cylinder things. Sometimes you put them with like a hot drink. Let's pop them open. Here we go. Here it is, you guys. You can really see it. This is it from the side. This is it from the other side. Let me see if I can. Oh, wait. I can see you. I can see you. Long and skinny, I hope. Is that a blunt? Hey, let's get that crunch. Hi, looks like a long blunt. See, I wasn't lying. Okay, let's try it. Oh my. 
Mmm. 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 First bite. I'm loving the crunch. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but listen. Mmm. Should I light it and smoke it? I'm just kidding. This is so good. I actually really like this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Like, I'm finishing this. It's really good. It honestly doesn't really taste too much like pumpkin. It's more of a sweet taste with a lot of hint of cinnamon. I'm not gonna lie, when I first pulled these out, I was like, eh, I don't know how much I'm gonna love this, but I'm liking it a lot more than I thought. Mmm. I think I'm gonna say that these go in aught yum because I'm trying to keep gobble gobble exclusive. I know there's already something in there, but you guys, those were really good. These are very good as well, but I think they're just aught yum. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Oh, wow. That is just uncanny, actually. This and the, and the picture. These are pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. This is kind of crazy. It's like they took the pumpkin and they gutted it, took out all its seeds, and then used the pumpkin to spice the seeds. It's kind of sick if you think about it for too long. But let's try these. I feel like I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna open them and they're gonna squirt all over my room. That's what it sounds like to be inside the bag. Here's one single seed. Here is the second seed that I'm gonna be trying today. Um, I don't know if these are for me. I don't know. They're not bad, but they're very sweet. And typically when I have like a pumpkin seed, I want it to be salty, you know, like I love salt, but this is sweet. It's like, you know, has like cinnamon and sugar on the outside of it. Sodium, only 70 milligrams, you guys, that's not enough. I need like 7,000 milligrams on my pumpkin seeds. I think they're mid, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right next to the chocolates. Whoa, wait. No, 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 I'm not even gonna say it. What's next? These are pumpkin cereal bars. And you guys, there's actually a really funny joke on this. It says, this pumpkin walks into a bar. <laughs> oh my God, get it? Okay, so I've never tried these before, but I have tried the other cereal bars that Trader Joe's has, because they have these in a lot of different flavors. I like them, but I'm not gonna lie, sometimes these can tend to sit in my cabinet for just a little too long. So let's try it. it smells good. Mmm. Very dry. Very dry. Sticking in my teeth. But the flavor 
It's really good. This might be one of the better flavors of the cereal bars, to be quite honest. Pumpkin spice wasn't always my favorite thing, but more recently I really love it. And I like, like I like the spice aspect of it. And that's what this is really giving. It's giving spice, like it's giving like cinnamon. I'm really liking that. Let me have a second bite. Mm, that's a perfect bite, by the way. Dentists, what do you think about this bite? Really dry. I don't know. One thing I will say that I'm liking about these right off the beginning is if you need to up your water intake, definitely eat some of these because these are gonna make you suck down a whole bottle. I feel like they're on the same level as the pumpkin seeds, but I like them more than the chocolate. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at this again. I feel like the chocolate, like, I'm sorry, the chocolate. The chocolate was boo. It was boo. I just feel bad because they're like really cute. Wait, did you guys see the picture and the box I was holding? Woo! Spooky bats and cats, sour gummy candies. This is quite exciting, you guys. Wow, a lot of sour on there. Guys, should I try a bat or a cat? Let me know right now, bat or cat. All right, two cats were first. I'm gonna try a cat. Here it is. I love sour candies, so I'm probably gonna like this. I'm just kidding. Um, mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yum. Those were good. Let me try bat now. I think the cat was maybe like grape or something, and I'm gonna assume that this is apple. Mm. Mm. I know where I'm putting these. I really like them. I love the level of sour. I love the flavor. The only thing I don't like is they're like a little too chewy. Like I'm not a huge fan of really like chewy, sticky candy, personally. So I think these are gonna go in aught yum. Whoa. Oh. That's crazy, this picture looks just like this, like down to the order of like what's in the bag. Like, look at that, it's like orange. Like you can see like the same candies in this bag that, that are in the picture, in the bag in the picture. Like the same. I don't know you guys. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch it up a little bit and reach into this bag over here. Pumpkin tortilla chips. Crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This should be interesting. I don't really know how I'm gonna feel about this, but let's try it. <laughs> Someone in the chat says, I hate these in all caps. This is what it looks like up close. This is what it looks like far away. I see a full seed in here. Let me eat that part. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. When I swallowed it, it was like a whole new flavor came out. That was crazy. Like I'm chewing on this and I was gonna say, I don't know, it's like just a slight difference between this and like a regular tortilla chip. I mean, you can taste like the nutmeg a little bit and like a little bit of the pumpkin, but when I swallowed it, full flavor, I can really taste it. And I'm just kind of like, why? Like, why would you get these over normal? 
I can't even speak. I'm just like, why would you get these over normal tortilla chips? I don't really, I don't really know. I don't know, why would you? Why would you get these over normal tortilla chips? Why? Why? Uh, I don't know. They're not like disgusting. Leave it on the shelf is something that's like absolutely disgusting. But I do think they're boo. I just don't understand like when you would get it. But if I'm saying that, maybe it is leaf it on the shelf. Like when would you get this? I will say this, yeah, I... it's looking similar to this. I'm gonna put them in boo. Okay. Wait, actually, I do have an idea of what you may eat them with. Trader Joe's fall harvest salsa. Maybe if we try these chips with the salsa, it will help us figure out where to place this. This is very interesting, you guys. This is a salsa that is made out of fruits and veggies, it says, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. I don't, I don't know about this. Okay. It smells like typical salsa, like just typical tomato salsa. Let's try it with one of these chips. And like do a little mix at the top. Okay, the chips, we're leaving them on the shelf. I have to say that, okay. <laughs> but I also got these fall leaf corn tortilla chips. These look so cute. So let's open these and try the salsa again with these and we'll figure out where we're gonna rank both of these items. Please don't put us in there. These are cute, you guys. Oh, oh my God, this is giving Canada. Shout out Canada. And they've got this color too. This is so cute, actually. Like, I don't know, I'm liking this. The novelty of this is just, oh, and they've got different shapes. Yeah, the novelty of this is so cute. Like imagine having like a little party or like get together and putting all these in a bowl. That is so cute. I'm gonna try them plain really quick and just see if it tastes like a normal tortilla chip. And then we're gonna try the salsa again. Pretty standard, super cute and festive. And they just honestly taste like a normal tortilla chip. They kind of slayed. I've definitely had better tortilla chips, but for the novelty, I think I gotta place these in Ot Yum. These are so cute. And I mean, it's a tortilla chip, but let's go back to the salsa because I'm not gonna lie, when I tried it with the other chip, I wasn't hating it. I know it seems very odd, but I need you guys to know, like it really smells like a typical salsa, like not a salsa that has pumpkin and squash in it. I don't know. So let's give it another chance with this tortilla chip. All right, I'm getting like a scoop with some stuff on it. I have no idea what, it, what I just ate. Seriously, it tastes like a normal salsa, but there was a chunk of something in there. I don't really, like, I don't know what that was. Okay, I'm getting like more chunks. This is bold, okay? This is bold of me, because there's all kinds of shit in there. I don't know, it's really not that bad. You guys are saying it looks like straight vomit. I'm a little... This is what your vomit looks like? Oh my God. 
All right, one more bite. What is this? There's a whole jalapeno stem in here. Dead ass. So I don't know, that's what I'm saying, you guys. There's like typical salsa ingredients in this, like tomato, jalapeno, onions. I mean, it smells like a typical salsa, but then I, it's kind of like a mystery, like grab bag. I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm gonna put it in mid giving. It surprised me, okay? I actually thought this was gonna be kind of nasty, but it's, I really can't sit here and say it was nasty. Like it's just not. I would prefer like a regular salsa over one with, you know, pumpkin and apples and squash in it. But I don't know. It's really just, it's kind of mid. It's really not that bad. But one thing it is, is really similar to the photo. This looks identical to this photo over here. What's next? Let's find out. Pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels with yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. No way. They got the fucking pumpkin seeds crushed up on these pretzels. You're telling me these are crushed up on these. Trader Joe's just like in the back, like mixing all their shit together for real. What do you think they mean by teeny tiny, you guys? Like just how teeny tiny are these? Yeah, they are actually kind of small. Here it is. It's smaller than the picture on the bag, you guys. Just wanted to let you guys know, smaller. And the picture on the bag. Smells good, smells like pumpkin spice. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, these are actually really good. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. We put the pumpkin seeds in mid giving, but crush up on these sweet, pretzels, they actually taste amazing. Like it's kind of like the perfect use of the pumpkin seeds. Um, these are actually really good. Wait, oh my God. Cause you know what you guys, like there's pretzels on the inside of all of this like yogurt and pumpkin seed coating obviously, and they're salty. So I'm getting that like salt flavor that I wasn't getting out of just the pumpkin seeds. You know what I'm saying? So it's really got it all. It's like sweet, salty, pumpkin spicy. Ooh, are we going to put them in gobble gobble, you guys? I'm keeping this category really exclusive, but I'm not gonna lie. Like I definitely would eat these like as a snack for sure. I'm gonna be munching on these. I'm gonna be gobbling on them. I think, it, yeah, it's gotta go in gobble gobble. Gobble gobble and Seriously, who took these photos? You guys, these look so good. Pumpkin maple bacon flavored dog treats. Oh my God. When I saw these at Trader Joe's, I was like, we've got to try these. These smell really mapley. Yep. This is what they're looking like. And uh, should we try them? <laughs> okay, you guys, I am obviously not gonna eat dog treats, but we're gonna have a special guest who does eat dog treats come in right now and try them. Do you want a treat? Here are the treats. Here's Finn. Finny. Finny, are you gonna taste something for us and see if you like it? Yes? Okay. Here it is, Finn. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna give me your paw? Yes, good boy. Okay, are you gonna lay down? Yes, are you gonna roll over for us? Roll over. Oh, you guys, this is how I can tell that he likes it because he is too excited to roll over. Roll over, Finn. Come on. Lay down.
lay down and do a little trick. Oh, he's getting so excited. He wants it bad. Okay. All right, taste it for us, Ben. Where are you going? Oh my God, I gotta get this. <laughs> he is munching that up. Oh my God, he's munching that up. He is munching. All right, let's see if he's gonna come over here for more. Ooh, it looks like he's looking for more, you guys. What do you think? Was that gobble? Was that gobble? Did you love it? Finn, you look so beautiful in this light. He's sniffing the ground for more. He wants more. I feel like that was a gobble, Finn. You. He literally ate and left no crumbs. Look at that. There's no crumbs on the ground. All right, are you going to say bye? Are you going to say bye to all of your friends? Look how beautiful he is, you guys. Oh my God, he's such a cute dog. I love him. You guys, I think he loved that. I think I think that goes in gobble, gobble. He gobbled that up and he's still down here right now. He's waiting for more, but you know what? I don't wanna make him sick and give him too much. So no more for right now, but you will get more later, okay? He has no idea what I'm saying. Let's try the next item. Which is this, Trader Joe's Pumpkin O's. A nice breakfast cereal, Pumpkin O's. Um, smell test. Not loving it. Will I be eating these for breakfast? Let's find out. Wait, let me show you. That's what they look like. I loved it. Go get milk. Listen, I wanna try the product for what it is. You know what I mean? Like we tried the tortilla chips with no salsa. I'm gonna try this with no milk. You know what I mean? Girl, it's cereal though. You should definitely be able to eat cereal without milk, okay? If you can't eat like a handful of cereal as a little snack, then it's not good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really liking the flavor. Listen, there's like good pumpkin spice things and then there's bad pumpkin spice things. And I just feel like this is bad. I'm thinking for this either boo or leaf it on the shelf. I think they're better than these pumpkin tortilla chips. So that might be the thing that's leading me to put them in boo. Out of all the pumpkin spice stuff we've tried so far today, these are kind of weak. So I'm gonna put them in boo. Next, we're gonna be trying this. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator, so it's nice and cold. Trader Joe's Spiced Cider. I really like apple cider, so I have high expectations for this. But I already see a lot of people in the chat saying, ew, 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 trauma, trauma, gross. I've got a cup. Now, personally, I think apple cider is better warm. It's such a good, like, hot drink. But, I mean, it's fine cold. I'm just gonna try it how it is. It smells amazing. I don't know. I feel like I have an unpopular opinion, but I love apple cider. So, here we go. I'm disappointed. I love apple cider, but this one just like what? It's 
it's not very good. It's definitely like maybe the worst apple cider I've had ever. I don't, I might leave this on the shelf. I might leave it on the shelf. I don't know. It's not good. It's like there's too much spice, not enough apple, and the spice is like tasting like shit to me. I gotta be honest. I just don't love it, and I'm feeling disappointed as well. I think that plays into my decision here. Like, I love apple cider. I was actually very excited to pick this up and have some apple cider in the house this fall, but I'm just wishing I got a different one. I'm really wishing that right now, so I would leave it on the shelf. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm so sorry, Joe, but I will not be trading for this. Pumpkin streusel muffins. Why do these, they, they kind of look bad. Like you can tell all of them like hit the top. See, they've all got like a stain from like hitting the top. I just know these were upside down in transit. But I'm, let me give them a fair shot. Smells good. They're pretty big. This is a big muffin. Look at this, they're gluten free. So shout out to all my gluten haters. If you hate gluten, if you wanna be free of it, this is something that you could eat. Mmm. Okay, let me try it. Feels nice and soft and moist. I'll give her that. I don't like the initial feeling on my tongue. I didn't like that, but let me go, let me go back in. They're crunch, do you hear the crunch? My hand's sticky. They weren't that bad. They weren't that bad, I'll be honest. Not my favorite thing we have tried here today, but they really weren't that bad. To me, I think these are on the same plane as the pumpkin bars and the pumpkin seeds and the salsa. It's giving mid. It's mid giving. Other muffins are better. I'm sorry. Not much left in these bags. Ooh, JoJo's, pumpkin flavored. These are Trader Joe's like equivalent to Oreos. Here is what it looks like. And the filling inside is kind of orange. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not liking the smell, but let me give them a shot, okay? I fear as we are nearing the end of this taste test, I'm getting a little bit of pumpkin spice fatigue. Anybody relate? Yes, I have been diagnosed with PSF. Pumpkin spice fatigue. But let me give it a fair shot. Hmm, didn't taste how they smelled. I actually like them. They're pretty cinnamony. Like the flavor is emphasizing the cinnamon. And so I'm kind of liking that. I will say, I feel like the color is like a little off-putting. Like it's so pale. Kind of looks like a Ritz cracker. And then like the inside is like basically the same color. I don't know. It's just like a bland looking food, but the flavor definitely is not bland. I actually like these a lot more than I thought I would. These you guys, these are aught yum. These are aught yum. All right, let's have the last item in this bag, which is pumpkin spice cookies. I feel like I just had these, but wait, you guys, these ones are kind of like frosted animal crackers, it looks like. It says shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. So let's try. Kind of look 
delectable. They kind of do. Okay, I'm gonna try an orange one because I want it to look just like a pumpkin. <gasps> oh, look at that. So cute. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. 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 Yes, I'm liking these a lot. I feel like it's the same yogurt coating that was on the like pumpkin spiced yogurt pretzels that we tried earlier. And I really like that. It tastes pretty much exactly the same, except there's a cookie inside instead of a pretzel. So it is lacking that salty flavor from the pretzel that I loved, but still really good. I feel like I'm gonna have to put these in Aut Yum. They're really, really good, but I don't know, similar to the pretzels and the pretzels were just superior in my opinion, but we still have one final item to try. And that item is pumpkin spiced Madeline cookies. Check these out. They're feeling soft from the outside of the package and they're looking very orange. Almost as orange as a carrot. If not, maybe more orange than a carrot. I may be orange myself after eating all of these. The PSF is really hitting you guys. Bruh, what? They smell like, ew, I don't even know what that smell is, but let's try it. Look at the bottom, there's a lump. What is that? Mmm, very soft. Very dry. I don't, these are strange. I don't even know if I've ever had a Madeline cookie before. What the hell? Like, I didn't know they were gonna be this soft. Like, why do they call these cookies when it's like, honestly, it's giving cake. Like, it's like cake in the shape of a cookie. Maybe that's what a Madeline cookie is. I don't know. I truly have never had one. The flavor, it's good, but. I don't know, it's pretty dry. I feel like these need to be like warmed up and served with butter. I saw a couple people in the chat saying, imagine it with butter. And I'm imagining that and I think it would be really good. Maybe that's how you're supposed to eat them. I dead ass don't know. But just on its own like this, I don't know. I think I might, it's between mid giving and boo. The flavor is really good. Like seriously, I'll give them that. I'll give Madeline that. Her flavor in her cookies is good, okay? You have to dip it in tea or coffee. Ooh, see, doing that might make it like taste a lot better. Okay, I think I'm gonna put them in mid-giving just because they were on the same dryness level as the pumpkin bars. If anything, the pumpkin bars were more dry, but I put the pumpkin bars up here for their flavor, so I'm gonna do Madeline a solid and rate her the same way. They definitely have potential. Maybe if they were served differently, they'd be better. I don't know. I see big things for her in the future. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. The picture. Hold on. Hold on. Is this sticker? Stickers in like. It's in the same. The same spot. Okay, guys. Well, this is our final ranking of Trader Joe's fall items. I'm gonna give it a heart eyes emoji. This was so much fun, you guys. I have really been looking forward to doing this stream and it definitely delivered, if I do say so myself. I have to say, I feel like the Trader Joe's items were really good. They were really good. They honestly exceeded my expectations. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get all like flop pumpkin spice items or, or what, but I felt like a lot of these items were pretty good. So shout out to you, Joe. Good job this year. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment letting me know what I should do a tier list on next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye YouTube.